After flooding in salmon, a family of five will not be sleeping in their own home tonight. Good evening. It's great to have you with us tonight here on Fox 5 at 9. I'm Todd Kuntz. Eyewitness News reporter Chelsea Brenzel traveled to Salmon today to see the mess and has their story. We were grabbing as much stuff up as we could. Um, I made a Facebook post that said I need people, bags, and boxes. And within 15 minutes, we had tons of people here. Patty Burns watched her daughter's home overflow with water. You know the story behind those things that you're grabbing. You know those are, those are important pieces of our family and our history and, and us. And to have it just swept away in water, it was... It was very intense. It was very hard. It was very hard. Stephanie and her husband, Mark Anderson, were more than an hour away in Chalice watching a wrestling match. When they got the call their house was flooding, they rushed back to Salmon. When we got home, I mean, we came in and had six to eight inches of water on the floor. And the water just kept coming. In the one part of the crawl space, it's three and a half feet deep, and it was a foot over that inside the house. The more than four feet of water caused quite a bit of damage. The floors are definitely, a lot of the floors are going to have to be pulled up, probably. The wood floor might have to be replaced. The linoleum in the bathrooms probably going to have to be ripped up and redone for sure. And like I said, I hope the carpet can be saved. If not, we'll have to replace the carpet as well. Under flooring, it might all have to be ripped up. We'll just have to see what the damages are. Burns says she's disappointed some key players didn't respond to the disaster. I haven't seen anybody from American Red Cross, and I thought they were supposed to respond to floods and fires and things like that. And as far as city officials, we never saw any city officials. Why didn't they get their butts down there and sandbag with us? Why wasn't the civil defense person here to tell them where to drop that sand, where to put the berm to protect all the homes? to protect all of us from having to go through this. Anderson says that he and his wife are grateful for family, friends, and neighbors who have stepped up to the plate. Everybody pulling together was just amazing, and I want to thank every one of them. Couldn't thank them enough. In Salmon, I'm Chelsea Brenzel. The Baptist Church in Salmon will be assisting the family with cleanup again tomorrow. Eyewitness News tried to contact city leaders, the Salmon Police Department, and the Red Cross, but we have not heard back. So let's go to Steve Cannon with this in mind. We